Now, Pittsburgh's best sports show is about to begin. Call us or tweet us. We got things to talk about on the Ireland Contracting Nightly Sports Call. All right, thanks a lot, Ken, and thank you for tuning in to the Ireland Contracting Nightly Sports Call. I'm Rich Walsh alongside Ron Cook, and we're taking your phone calls tonight. The big story today, the battling Buckos dropped a season opener in Cincinnati 5-3. to three. They did have a chance at the end of the game. Corey Dickerson grounded out at the end of the game with the bases loaded, um, but uh, it was a good pitching performance from Jameson Tyon. Ron, he goes, he goes six innings. Um, I was kind of questioning whether he should come out for that seventh inning, but he is your guy, he is your ace. And I understand why they made that decision, but it, it didn't work out for him today. No, and he hadn't thrown that many pitches. I mean, I, absolutely, I, give, I have no problem with Hurdle leaving him in the game. I guess my problem is a little bit with Tyone. You're up 2-1 in the seventh inning. The ace, the star, the Verlanders, the guys like that close it out when they're up in the seventh inning. Uh, he gives up the tying home run, I think, then a walk, and he came out, and then Richard Rodriguez, the three-run home run. I thought he pitched a nice game. You just hate to see him give up a 2-1 lead uh, in the seventh inning. You mentioned Corey Dickerson's at bat. I think it was 12 or 13 12 pitches. 12 pitches. Six just, straight fouled him off. Just a great battle uh, with the bases loaded. I thought he was going to get a hit. Uh, you can't ask for anything more than that. Uh, again, you know, they struggle to score runs, three runs. Um, I, I really worry about this lineup. I think the pitching is going to be good. I worry about the lineup, especially now. You know, Polanco's out. Marte didn't play with a migraine today. I mean, that lineup was pretty weak. Yeah, that's what I wanted to get to next. I mean, the day didn't start out well for the Buccos. Uh, Starling Marte was a late scratch right before game time with a migraine headache. So not only do you not have Lonnie Chisenhall, you had to, you had to revamp your lineup, and you had to go to J.B. Shuck, who wouldn't even have made the team if Chisenhall didn't get hurt. Well, you bring in Chisenhall to, to keep the right field warm until Polanco comes out in mid-May. Now Chisenhall probably going to be out till mid-May. So uh, right off the bat, I, I mean, uh, it's a tough break for them. Not that Chisenhall is the next coming of uh, uh, Mike Trout, uh, but you like to have your guys in there. They had to start Cabrera. They had to start Shuck today. You got Gonzalez at shortstop, who's not much of a hitter. A pretty weak lineup, I thought. Although he did get the Pirates' first hit this year. He did. So Go up the middle, I saw. That. Yeah, you know, I, I'm. Uh, look, that that's the knock on Gonzalez. Can he hit? Uh, when I was in spring training for a couple weeks, and I don't know what your guys uh, told you from the fan in the Post Gazette, but when I was there, you know, this Eric Gonzalez guy, and he really, really impressed me defensively. I, I, I thought he was. I think he's going to be the next great defensive player, but. The hitting is the big question mark right. with him. Well, I think the right side, of, the left side of the infield is better. You got more range with Gung than Moran. I think you got more range with Gonzalez than Jordy, and I love Jordy. But I worry about the right side of the defense. I, I don't think Josh Bell's very good at first base. Frazier's still got to show me he can play and last at second base. I kind of hold my breath when the ball's hit to the right side of the infield. I feel a lot better when it's hit to the left side. Yeah, he had a couple mis miscues out there today. Josh Bell did. Yeah, the rundown and, they bu they butchered. He had another error. He's not very good at first base. Yeah, I remember talking to him um, during spring training. He was telling me that they, they were positioning him back further this year than they were last year. They were changing his, his alignment defensively at first base. Now, you know, I, I know that's another thing to get used to, but he said he felt comfortable there. You would think now this is his third year uh, really playing first base that – this should be, he shouldn't be second guessing himself. It should be something natural for him. I, I just worry about the balls hitting to the right side of the infield. I, I mean, Frazier kind of stumbled on one and, 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 and failed to get it an out. And then Bell really butchered that rundown. I mean, you can't let Votto get back to first base like that in a oh. rundown. Just can't. I wasn't know there. this wasn't an option because I did ask them. When I, was, when I was covering the Pirates in Brainton about Josh Bell potentially moving to right field. Now, this is the time to do it, you would think. Uh, maybe get Colin Moran out there uh, or, or, or something. You don't have a Suna, but Colin Moran can play first base. Cervelli can play first base. Get Josh Bell in the right field. I think they want to try to, I think they worry more about his bat than they do about his fielding. If he can hit 25, 26 home runs like he did a couple years ago or 30, they'll live with his fielding. I don't think they want him bouncing back and forth. Uh, he, did, he has played the outfield before. That's where he played coming up. But I don't think they want to bounce him around like that. We'll see. 
Um, you know, how Melky Cabrera is going to do out there. Shock. I mean, I'm assuming Marte will be okay on Saturday. That'll be a big addition to their lineup. Yeah, I mean, uh, it, it's a tough way to open the season, but they still have two more. 161 yeah, to go. Where to go. So uh, it was disappointing because I thought they had an opportunity. They were up 2-1, and you would think being up 2-1 with Tyon on the mound and then your bullpen coming, coming out next, uh, that this is a good position for the Pirates because they keep saying how good their pitching is. So, you know, I thought they were in good shape at that po- at point. But um, well, when a guy gets up a three-run home run like Richard Rodriguez yeah. did, you're going to lose. All right, we got to take a break. Back with some of your phone calls and some of your tweets coming up next. Bucko Fever, 412-575-2600. The Ireland Contracting Nightly Sports Call is brought to you by Ireland Contracting, celebrating 25 years as Pittsburgh's number one home exterior expert in roofing, siding, windows, and gutters, where honesty and integrity still matter. 